later on? I remember our first radio had a battery, and we never played with it. Really? <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, we, at that time, I think we were still playing with dolls in our buggy and dishes and little things like that. And we never cared that much. But when we got our first um, record, my, my dad used to give us a dollar every week so we could go buy a record when we had our own phone So that was nice. But by then we were already teenagers. <laughs> yeah, that's when it matters. <laughs> <laughs> <Want the music. laughs> yeah. No, I think mom and dad were real. You know, they done the best to give us money. Like like Clyde says. Well, of course they were a bigger family, but they never had anything sweet to eat. You know, mm -hmm. they used to put a little bit of sugar and a little bit of water in their plate and then soak the bread in there, and that was their sweet stuff. And, and in our family, my mom always canned. They canned peaches, pears, uh, cherries, anything. And they used to make a lot of cakes and cookies. And oh, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so your parents, how big were their families? In my mom's family, they could have been probably about eight. And in my dad's family, about the same. They used to have big families yeah. in, in them days. Oh. And did you all live in like the same general vicinity? I mean, I yeah. know you talk about how you, yeah. you spent a lot of time with your cousins mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. We were all so nearby, at least. Nearby, na like neighbors, even. Mm -hmm. We were always together. Because you really just don't see that many no. really large families anymore. No, you no. Know, it's like two, or three. Or they do, kids. they're all over the country. Yeah. You guys yeah. have to talk it one at a time because when you try to transcribe <laughs> this, you'll have a little bit difficult <laughs> okay. to talk over to each other. Yeah. How many children did you end up having? Two. Two. Oh. I have two children and two grandchildren, one great granddaughter and mm -hmm. one adopted granddaughter. Well, do they live fairly close to or? Well, my daughter lives in Aurora, but we don't see her not as much as we should. No. You know, because with her job, and we just we just don't bother each other. Because she's just like me. <laughs> <laughs> work, work, work all the time. C can you address to, I mean, I, I know what we're going to talk about as far as the, 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 the nature of the community. You know, you obviously had a Mexican background, okay? But other people were German, Russians. Did you ever have a sense that there was a division within the community <coughs> based on race or on on money or anything else? Was there a, did you ever have a sense that you were different or separated or there was a, any kind of... Um, well, during the war, when we still lived over there in Santa Casa, um, there were some Japanese people, you know. They were different than us, and they talked different and everything, but we were always taught that we were to be the same, equal. Everybody would be equal, you know, no matter what, so. And what happened to them? Do you, not, do you have some? They just stayed there until they died of old age, I guess. Okay. Because they were big, big farmers. Yeah. Yeah, they were about the only ones, you know. Right. So, yeah. Um, were there other Mexican people there? With a, uh, yeah. Her question is... Hispanic background. Were, yeah, were, were, were you in a, in a Hispanic neighborhood or area in Colorado? Well, that's what we call ourselves. We don't call ourselves Mexicans because Mexican people to us were born in Mexico and they talk different than we do. So we were always said we were Spanish. Oh, Spanish no. origin. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's, that's the way we were brought up, you know. But, uh, you know, when you talk to real Mexican people from Mexico, you just kind of, a lot of words you stay in them because they, they talk so fast and so different that some a lot of things you don't understand. But us, that we were all 
born, you know, here, we all talk the same. To me, we all, you know, can commute pretty good. So do you know from where originally your family, I mean, generations and generations back, you know, maybe before you came to Colorado, where you came from, was it, was it from down in Mexico or was it from over in Spain? Or as far as I know, we were all born in the same area, you know, here in Colorado. In Colorado. It's just right next to the border of New Mexico. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. that's where all, of, all our people are from, as far back as we can remember. Well, I have two pictures here I want, I'd like you to talk about, please. The first, first one being this picture of... This one? Yes, that one. This is um, this is uh, my my mother-in-law's sister, and this is my father-in-law, Clyde's dad. He was in his seventies, and he's still milking cows. Wow, yeah. well, that's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, but we have a picture of my mother-in-law and my father-in-law somewhere. <laughs> somewhere here. <laughs> Now this, see, this is my, this is my grandma, my grandma, okay. and this is my grandma and two daughters. Let me see if we find it. These are all my And taking pictures was a tradition in your family, obviously, right? Yeah. With my little box camera, I was the one that took pictures all the time. Sometimes my mother would get mad at me. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is the same family that I'm talking about, mm -hmm. and that's her whole family. That's oh, Aunt, wow. Aunt Geneva and Uncle Julian and then the family. But you can see how they all get together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what, for that picture of my mother-in-law, this is, this is Clyde's mom and dad. I mean, but they were married young, young. I think they say that she was like 15 or something like that. You know, and probably mm -hmm. like 17 or 18 years old. But they had a big family, big family. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the way we used to, they used to do beads, and, and we done beads. Okay. See how they pile up the beads on one yeah. side? First, they did do the easy job with the tractor. Right. And then we <laughs> had to top them one by one. And if you were done by Halloween, you were going to do it. See, that's my husband, Clyde, when he was just a little boy. See, he's already working. Mm -hmm. And did we have another one, Steve? Um, About yeah, potatoes yeah. or something? That's with awesome. potatoes or something? That was their family farm. That's where they grew up. On, mm -hmm. on that one over there. Yeah, your family always had cars, so it wasn't... Yeah, there. See, that's how we used to pick potatoes. Now, I've done that. You put a belt on, about that wide. I don't know how i done it. I probably weighed 70 pounds. <laughs> and then it used to have two hooks, mm -hmm. kind of turned up, and used to fill the, the back there with sacks, 100-pound sacks, only empty. And then you just go and pick them. One potato at a time, putting it in the sack. When you've got about halfway of a sack, you make a row on the side, and then other people would come and load it in the truck and take it to wherever they wow. took the potatoes. <laughs> but it was all hard work. Yeah. My dad always said that that I didn't grow because they worked me too hard. Oh. You know, <laughs> because I'm the shortest one in the family. Oh. Mm -hmm. And he always blamed it because I worked too hard. <laughs> so, but that's how we used to pick potatoes. We used to dig them, and then you go around picking potatoes. Wow. Uh, how do you think the work ethic has changed? I mean, <laughs> 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 it's okay. We hear it all the time. <laughs> what a business, but I mean, honestly, uh, how would you answer you that? You explain, Bertha. You, I know you have opinions on this very much. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> 
I don't know. I think life now is just real easy, real enjoyable for, you know, for all the young kids now. You guys really enjoy life. You, you know, it's just everything is work, but it's not um, the type of work we had to do. Yeah. You. technology-based. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I, uh, my grandsons, they've never worked. <laughs> in fact, when I make a still and they have a big garden in my little grandson tummy, they'd go over and help me plant the corn, you know, throw each seed on the little hole and whatever. And my rows were mm, kind of long. And he'd put the corn on the row and we'd get to the other end and he'd tell me, Grandma, can we take a break? <laughs> 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 so he'd be wanting to take a break all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, but they're good workers. But you know, it's yeah. just not hard work like we have to do. You know? yeah. These are school pictures when Clyde was in school. And this is. This is Clyde, and he said the other guy was Tarzan, huh? He used mm -hmm. to beat him up all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now this was in Windsor, Colorado. Mm -hmm. That's oh. where it was taken. Yeah. yeah so his sc was his school in Windsor, or did he live in Windsor? Oh, they used to move around then a lot, huh? Because, you know, the farmers would go work for this farmer and the next farmer. So mm -hmm. they, moved, they moved a lot. Keep going. <laughs> so. Did you travel a lot? Like no, no. We'd go see my grandma and my grandpa and all our aunts, because we were the first ones to come over here to be. And then little by little, everybody came. And mm -hmm. there was, was no work. Right. Yeah, so. oh. Except for my grandma and my grandpa, they never did come. Mm. So, I guess since you were born in what, 1935, I don't know how much, 34, I don't know um, how much of stuff like the Great Depression or, you know, stock market such, you know, all that back then was such a mess. I don't really remember, you know, if, how much you remember. But do you remember your, <laughs> like, your parents ever having a really hard time with stuff like that? I remember my mom talking about it, you know. I remember they talked about it, but I, you know. It didn't have guess. much of a much of an impact out here mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. with the Dust Bowl and all that. Yeah. I imagine. Yeah, I can remember people talking about those things, but I don't. Uh, you know, when you're a kid, you don't pay too much attention. No, because <laughs> <laughs> in one ear, not the other. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, have you ever felt um, it's been difficult to adjust to the like the way times change? Um, Um, you mean the technology? Right? Yeah, with the technology and just, you know, just, I mean, our, obviously our lifestyles are oh. <laughs> very different. Yeah. Um, do, have, but have you ever found it difficult to make that transition? Yeah. Or, no. No, you just go along with the flow. You know, as you get older, you get more mellow. <laughs> <laughs> you just, huh. Can you describe your working life now? Now? Yeah. You well, said, you said earlier that you know you 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 never got your your father said you never got taller because you always worked too hard and I would say probably that's why you're not getting taller now. <laughs> no, no, I'm going the other way because I have osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. How much, maybe work, how much do work do you do in a week? Just describe a typical oh. week in the summertime in particular. Oh, I have it easy now compared to before. I get up in the morning, I make um, bacon and hash browns, and we have a super good breakfast. <laughs> and then I just, I just go out and work. You know, you wanna know what I done yesterday? I have a big house, huh? We have a big house. And I washed, we have about four foot eaves in my house. I washed all the eaves and all the vents where the flies poop. I don't like fly poop. I washed all that. I washed all my windows. I washed the whole house. It took me a whole day. When he came stuck last night, 
he found me in curlers because <gasps> I have straight, straight hair and that's the only thing I hate. And so I work all day long. I always find something to do. I can't sit. Mm. I can't sit down and just sit. If I sit down, I go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I, I like working and I'm real happy. And I, and I think it's because we work. Can you talk about doctors when, you know, in the, in the 50s and 60s, what it was like, the, the experience of doctors? I mean, we had local doctors. Not, how different it is from then and now? I never went to the doctor, Steve. I only went to the doctor when I had Brenda to the hospital. I had her at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I came home the next day. And then the same thing when I had my son. And I've never been. I had... Uh, gallstones and just go home and but I always do what the doctors tell me. They tell you not to do, you don't do. Mm -hmm. You take care of yourself for that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I never go to the doctor. Because you know why? The more you go to the doctor, the more they poke around, the more they find. <laughs> That's what I believe. <laughs> the, the more they find what's wrong with you, you know? And you know, like Clyde, big Clyde, he's 70, he'll be 72, he'll be 73 this November. He doesn't have high blood pressure, that man, nothing, nothing. And he eats and eats and eats, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and would you believe in his family, like I said, I think there's nine or 10 each, and every one of them has um, sugar diabetes, which is bad, oh, mm -hmm. and Clyde does not. I tell him he's not he's not a Romero. <laughs> <laughs> so So does he still work? Around the house. All right, does he retire? Like he's retired for ten years. Oh, wow. Like I told you he worked for medical dairy mm -hmm. for forty two years. Is he kinda the same as you and he just can't sit down, <laughs> can't sit still, just gotta be, have to be working? Yeah. That's why he didn't come, huh? Today. No. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a hard life, but you have to enjoy life. You just as well enjoy life as make it miserable. You know, like Steve told me last night, well, don't go to work tomorrow. Don't go down my dad's tomorrow. I said, I don't like to get out of track because I got to have everything planned for every day, you know. So I went and cleaned their house, his, his dad's house. I went home and ate a sandwich and got cleaned up. And he for some time. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have advice for young girls these days? What, what can you tell them about uh, any, any, any life advice? Just stay out of trouble. Hard trouble, you know, <laughs> by drugs and all that junk. Just enjoy your, get a good job, enjoy your life. Do what you want to do. Mm. And I think just yeah. stay out of Is trouble. there any something that you wanted to do that you haven't done yet? Mm. No, not really. No. It's pretty satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's pretty satisfied. Yeah. I like to stay home and enjoy my house. And Have you ever had any desire to travel? I mean, a lot like of people. The yeah, like I know my grandparents when they were trying that that's what they want to do. They wanted to travel, even though. I don't want to travel. We have a motorhome, and I don't like to travel. I don't like the motorhome. I like my house. Really? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like that. In fact, one winter I told my husband, I said, "Go," because we have a, my cousin and is married to my sister, and we've always been very, very, very close. Mm -hmm. And we've always gone everywhere together. And this one winter, I didn't want to go. And he went alone. He went in our motorhome, and they went in their motorhome. But I don't care to go. Mm -hmm. I guess we'd done enough when we were young, you know. Mm -hmm. When our kids were little, we had our a pickup, a camper, and a boat. Mm -hmm. My husband used to work 10 days, and then on four. So we were always gone, four days, every yeah. other week. Yeah. We used to go gambling a lot of stuff, Steve at the dog track. <laughs> 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 and what else did I tell you? Secrets he didn't know? Oh, um, I was 
just that you, you, you were regular at the dog track for a time. Oh, and play cards. We used, we used to play cards when we didn't have a family. We used to play cards right after work. And there was times we'd go home, take a shower, and go back to work. And one time we got in the hole, we owed Gilbert and Rolly, um, $150 we lost in one night. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a lot. Wow. And that's when we quit gambling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that right. was a bad, bad habit. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> but we used to enjoy it. You said, um, you know, a lot, a lot of, you know, you still found ways to have leisure time and enjoy, enjoy life when you were working so hard. What was some of the stuff you did? Like we used to go younger. to the movie a lot, huh? Movies. We used to go dancing and just typical young, you know, picnics and things like that, you know. For Halloween, like I tell you, if we got through topping beats by, by Halloween, my dad would let us go even to the midnight movie. So, you know, that was, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think mom and dad were pretty lenient with us, you know. So, and mom used to bake a lot, make her own home, homemade bread. Yeah. We, were, we were talking earlier about kids and obesity. Oh, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Can you contrast what, what you saw when you were a kid with how kids are today? Yeah, well, I think today they eat too much, too much sweets and too much junk food and not get enough work, hard work, so you don't burn anything. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's why Clyde and I stay, you know, and we're not sick because we eat good. At my house, there's always got to be cakes, ice cream, candy, all the good things that we didn't have, especially Clyde. Clyde didn't have any of these good things uh, when he was young. And, uh, but see, we work it off. Mm -hmm. We work it all off. It doesn't have time to turn into fat. Yeah. And that's yeah. what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. so we had a good visit on the way. <laughs> you, you, ne did you, you never thought of your family as being poor, per se, did you? No, because we had, we had plenty of milk, eggs, butter, everything. We had, you know, I think Clyde's family had it rougher than, than we did because there was too many. Mm -hmm. Too many. Clyde says when mom would make what well, she'd have to make two or three pies, and if he wanted an extra slice of pie or cake, they'd have to buy it from the next kid. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what Clyde says. <laughs> 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 like if he didn't have with his share, he'd say, Jane, I'll give you so much. Mm -hmm. And if Jane wanted to make a quarter or 50 cents, whatever, but she'd sell it to Claude. <laughs> 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 they had a hard life. Yeah, they yeah. Harder than we did, I think. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. they talked like they never had any toys. No. They used to make their toys out of, remember the cans of sardines? Yeah. We always had dolls and buggies and things like that. From which materials were the dolls? Pardon me? From which materials were the dolls? Were they store-bought or homemade? No, they were bought. Bought and mm -hmm. dolls. Uh-huh. And the porcelain dolls. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So. One thing I remember, my mom used to do a lot of sewing. Mm -hmm. You know, make our dresses and things like that. Maybe. Do you think that kids uh, used to use their imagination more back then than they do now, or? Well, I don't know. Kids are pretty smart now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like we have video yeah. games. Yeah, and you so learn a lot know. more now, faster. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think so. Hmm. Just be good students and just stay out of trouble. Don't listen to bad things. That's what's bad in this world, you know, that people get in so much trouble. Yeah. Do you see that people our age now tend to get 
in more trouble, be a little bit more rude, that kind of thing, than like your children or the children when you were our age? Or were we always kind of rambunctious teenagers? <laughs> <laughs> no. Not all, not everybody's that way. No. no. You know, you can't judge one bad person to everybody, you know, to you all or whatever, you know, you just can't. Mm -hmm. so. Um, I know you, you know, you talked a lot about how you were kind of always treated like an older the brother, brother. The brother <laughs> <laughs> um, when you were when you were young. Um, has the status or not status, but role of women? How has that changed since? I mean, obviously you had it a little different, but um, was it like that with a lot of with a lot of people that you knew? Where she's kind of the oldest. No, I think it was just in our family. Just you? <laughs> <laughs> just needed an extra hand to go work. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Irma always stayed, my second sister stayed home and took care of my other little sister, see, so they needed somebody also in the house, yeah. you know. So it's just the way people live then. Yeah. yeah, I know you've talked about when you, you never... You always stayed home with your kids. Yeah, um, for that reason. But like now, I can't imagine having kids and let somebody else raise your kids to go to work. I just can't. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if you go, if you want kids, you wait till you're ready to have your kids. You should be able to raise your kids when they start school. That's when you should go to work, and you still have plenty of time to go to work, and you took care of them right. Yeah. That's what I believe. Because, see, I had to erase my great-granddaughter until she started school. Mm -hmm. I helped with that. And it's not fair. Mm -hmm. The mom should be the one to take care of the baby. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm just too old-fashioned or too different. I don't know. It's just the way I am. There's a lot of people like that. So... I know that's the way my mom, that's what she did with all of us, is that until I was the last one. And so right when she had my brother, she stopped going to work. And then as soon as I started school, she went back to work. That's the way I was, I was raised. Yeah. So I think we'll.